Hi everyone, I am Ms. Macedo. Welcome to our lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about plot elements. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's first look at plot. All stories have a plot. The plot is just a name for a sequence of events. Every plot should have an exposition, rising and falling action, climax and resolution. What is plot? The sequence of events that take place in a story. What is sequence of events? The time order of things that happens in the story. Let's look at plot elements diagram. As you can see in this image, the plot elements diagram have exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. So the exposition, as you can see in this image, is all the way at the bottom. It's the beginning of the story that introduces conflict, character, and setting. The rising action is going up and are the events before the climax. Characters attempt to solve the problem but fails. Climax, all the way at the top. The turning point, the point of greatest suspense or action. Falling action, action and events that occur after the climax. And all the way at the bottom, the resolution, end of the story where the conflicts or problems are solved. Now, let's look at each element. We will we'll start with the exposition. The exposition is also sometimes known as the hook. It is the very beginning part of the story. And as you can see here in the diagram, the exposition is at the beginning. You see it here in bold, and that is an arrow pointing to it. Rising action. Rising action refers to the events in the story that occur after the problem is introduced and lead up to the climax of the story. And you can see the rising action is here in bold going up before the climax and it has an arrow pointed to it so you can visualize it. Now let's look at climax. The climax is the most exciting or surprising part of the story and is sometimes known as the turning point. As you can see here in the diagram, the climax is all the way at the top in bold and you have an arrow pointed to it so you can visualize it. Falling action refers to the events in the story that lead to the resolution or solution to the problem. And as you can see, the falling action is here in bold, is between the climax and the resolution, and there is an arrow pointing to it so you can visualize it. And finally, we are going to look at the resolution. The resolution occurs at the end of the story. This is where the author provides a solution to the story and ties up any loose ends. And as you can see, the resolution is all the way at the bottom here in bold, and you can see an arrow pointing to it so you can better visualize. Now, let's look at the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone story diagram. So the exposition. Harry lives in an ordinary world without magic, where he is mistreated by his aunt and uncle. I just wish to live. No one treats me nicely here, and I wish my parents were with me. So as you can see here in this image, this is Harry. And what the author did during the exposition, he introduced Harry by saying that he lives in a boring place without magic, and that his 
family, uh, he's mistreated by his family. So you can see setting, the characters, and this conflict that Harry has at the beginning of the story, which is the exposition. Rising action. Harry finds out the school has three-headed dog that is protecting a door that leads to something very precious, the sorcerer's stone. The sorcerer's stone can give someone eternal life, making them immortal. So this is one event that happened before the climax. Now, rising action two, keep in mind that you can have more than one rising action. You can have more than one major event before the climax. Albus has left the school off to London after receiving an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic. The three children, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, go through the trapdoor to fight off whoever was attempting to find the stone. The Climax in Harry Potter. Harry went to face off whoever was getting the stone. The three children had expected it to be Professor Snape, but in the end, it was Professor Coral. After unwrapping this turban, there on the other half of Professor Coral's head, Lord Voldemort. Harry had gotten the stone through the mirror and he fought with Professor Coral and Lord Voldemort. So this is the climax, the most exciting point of the story. Now, falling action. Harry was fighting off Professor Coral, and the professor grabbed the hold of Harry, but his hands started blistering. Professor Coral cannot touch Harry with his bare skin. When the professor was going to cast a spell and kill Harry, Harry grabbed the professor's face and he started burning and blistering. Harry then fell into deep darkness. This is the falling action. It's something that happened after the climax, after the very exciting point of the story. And now finally, we're going to look at the resolution. Harry awoke in the hospital after three days. There, standing above him, was Albus Dumbledore. Harry rushed to ask about the stone and to find out what happened to it. Albus explained it to Harry. They destroyed the stone and Nicholas Flamel would die, but he had enough time to sort everything out before he leaves. So this is the resolution of the story. This is how it ends. So now let's look at one activity. In order to show your understanding, this is what you are going to do. You are going to create a plot diagram. So this is the plot diagram, as you can see here in the visual, by writing or drawing a story. So you can create a story and you can put here the uh, right now the exposition, so which is the setting, the characters. Then you can create one event, that major event that happened in the story, and you're going to write down. And then you're going to also, or you can draw it, and you can draw the climax, so write down a climax, something, the most exciting point of your story, the story that you are creating. And then the falling action, as we learned, and finally, the resolution, the end of the story. Okay, so you can create your own story by writing or drawing, or you can also create a plot diagram of a story that you know or a story from a book that you are reading. Okay, so today we learned about plot elements. And the plot elements are exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Thanks for watching this video.